What is going on everyone? Brian here for Apocalyx Movies and we are here to do another episode of Nerd Nation issue number 18. Yes, it has been a while. We did take kind of a week off, uh, mostly because Geo is sick and we, you know, we can't do anything without you uh, here. But uh, with me today, I do have Gio Ramos and Keith Barnes. How are you guys doing? Good. We're doing. Yeah, feeling better. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's something going around, but uh, thankfully it wasn't <laughs> little, that. Yeah. yeah. Just a little something going yeah. around, but uh, it wasn't that. So how are you, Keith? I'm okay. Yeah? Coming off your uh, Kings and Wizards? Kings and Wizards, uh, yeah. Basketball game? Yes. Torn between two lives. Live. Yes. So, uh, but yeah, so we got a little bit of a... Uh, some fun stuff to talk to you about today. We have uh, the Batmobile got revealed and uh, our thoughts on that. Uh, Carl, Ur Carl Urban's comments on uh, Dread 2 and if that will be a possibility. And uh, the the rumor that really had no, uh, no legs to it, uh, Henry Cavill as Wolverine. So, but uh, we are gonna start off with the Batmobile. It was dropped today on Twitter by Matt Reeves, and it is a very uh, classic Batmobile, I'll say. First thing I thought of was the Adam West Batmobile. Yes. Um, and I was like, I dig that. Because uh, it's starting, it's kind of seeming like it's not, he's not going to be so like super high tech. Inspector Gadget, like, have all the gizmos, like, 21st century type stuff. Not yet. And I kind of dig that. Yeah. For right now. Yeah. Thoughts? Yeah, it's only year two of uh, Batman. At least the, that's the rumor in, in this uh, storyline, that Matt Reeves' first Batman film was going to be a, um, Batman's second year mm -hmm. uh, fighting crime. And I think uh, for myself, the Batmobile, uh, I think it looks great. I kind of get a little Mad Max vibe when, you know, looking for, look, looking at the back and seeing all the uh, machinery and stuff. Um, I think it looks great. As long as there's fire coming out the back. <laughs> <laughs> I need like a little, the big old like, exhaust where the yeah, fire shoots out the side. I need a fireball coming out the back. I'm good. How do you feel about the comparison to Mad Max, though? I would agree with that. Yeah, okay. that's, that's a very similar look. Yeah, that's a, I kind of do get that sense. A, 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 a Batman-y kind of... Uh, Mad Max car. Uh, yeah, definitely the 60s, 100%. The 60s, 66 Batman Batmobile, which I also love. It's a cool one. Uh, <clears throat> definitely got that vibe as well uh, when I saw it. Um, I've generally loved just about every version of the Batmobile, uh, live action or animated, except the obviously only the horrible one is the Schumacher one, that weird... Okay. Glowy, yeah, that was see-through skeleton-looking car. So you like Christian Bale's tank? Big dumb wings on the back. <laughs> I hated that thing. But uh, uh, the Christian, I thought the tumbler. The I like that one. It's oh, cool. Yeah. I just yes, made sure. I love that one. Okay. There's a really good black. <laughs> yeah. I love. I that remember one, people like for a while were like, oh, oh people, he, you can't. Add yeah. that everyone's gonna know that. And then like once they saw it, they were like. That's pretty dope. <laughs> like it's, it's we like that one. When you yeah. saw it in the Dark Knight and the opening scene when it comes through the the garage, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah. all the bad guys. Yeah. yeah and then yeah. later on when it uh, <laughs> turns into a motorcycle, the pod chasing the Joker. Pod. Yeah, that's dude, cool. Dude, that that movie still holds up to this day. Oh, oh my of God. course. Yeah. Uh, I'm just curious if it's going to be able to do anything. I don't think so. I yes. Think it's, well, yeah, it's a Batmobile. Well, it's it's, gonna, it's gonna do some stuff. Oh, I yeah. mean, but like what? Like what it does stuff. It t to me, I get very like basic vibes off of it. Like yeah, think think like about oil uh, spill. Or think about fire uh, shooting out. Triple X is a uh, Vin Diesel that movie with with the GTO. Just think I about that. Triple X. It was a cool car. Ooh. I love Triple X. To be honest, it's, yeah. it's ridiculous, but it's one of those. It's same the way he is with Fast and Furious. I, I love Triple X. It's it's so dumb, but it's but that car was. <laughs> He, remember, he's like, I want all that in here. A whole big tail yeah, full of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Robert Pattinson was telling Andy Serkis' uh, butt. Telling uh, Alfred, yeah. Alfred, yeah. I was just thinking, like, uh, like, and I, I'm not dissing on it, because I actually think it looked great. But, like, it was funny, because to me, I was like, oh, I could see that, like, spewing out tax behind it to like, yeah. pop the tires. Listen, it'll or, be like, like the old James Bond cars in the 60s. Yeah, like, that's a, yeah. That's, oh, that's, that's a good comparison. That kind of stuff, or an ejector seat. 
you know, it'll probably... You think he's going to have an ejector button? To of course. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, it's going to be remote activated because they're always remote. Uh, we, know, also, yeah. we also got to look at his suit, too. I mean, right. it's... It's from a distance you can't really yeah. tell that much, but and it's uh, kind of dark. So. It looks like it's it's going they're going with the gray and um, sort of yeah yeah like dark color. I'm so Obviously, excited. it's Batman. I'm so excited. The helmet is kind of weird. The helmet, a big forehead on the front. It's kind of yeah. big, so you can big bulbous people. forehead. Maybe <laughs> uh, the Christian Bale helmet was weird too. The, the, the second one it had like a weird kind of light bulb look. <laughs> I know <laughs> personally. Second, third one. I. I kind of, and I know, I can just hear Jake going, oh, no. Uh, I wouldn't mind having, like, little, like, wings up the back of it. Uh, but then it's kind of so, like, blunt and, like, stupid. It kind of <laughs> almost makes it comical. If it, well, listen, my favorite one is the Tim Burton 89 one. But, and that has the wings. I love I have, that. I had that as a me, me too, me too. Oh, I that was that he able to turn his neck in that one? Car. No, I couldn't. No, okay. I couldn't that. That's why he was always doing this. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> like, such, and like he's wearing he in a body cast. and he's wearing Nikes. You can see him. He's, Is he really? Yes. <laughs> Zoom in. No. Watch that movie again. And you just know, catch a shot of his shoes. You can see he's wearing black he's Nikes. Running around the city, you know, you got to wear good shoes. I'm curious <laughs> what kind of car it is. Oh, this one? Like yeah. A, I'm like, curious, too. like a Mustang. It, that's, a little bit. The, yeah. I have a feeling uh, that's what I got, too. Or a Camaro. I don't. That, that's what I think it's going to be. It looks like a Mustang, but I would not be surprised if it ended up being a Camaro. Or something. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely some type of muscle car, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Uh, it's not as uh, combat-looking as previous Batmobiles. Yeah. And that's just a, um, a sign of what kind of Batman story we're going to get, you know, more right. noir detective. Yeah. You know, so... This is this you won't see this car in, in a Fast and Furious movie, you know, you know doing <laughs> oh, crazy might. stuff. Oh, oh doing the crazy cool. stuff, yeah. It it gave me a very uh, Fast and the Furious Dom Toretto uh, yes. number one <laughs> like that. If Toretto got behind the wheel of a Batmobile, I'd want to. See, I'd pay to see that. Oh, uh, <laughs> he could survive. Listen, he could probably fight Batman. To be honest, I I mean I wouldn't Does be surprised it? at some point. If at the rate Fast and Furious is going, if superheroes start, well, we can I mean, superheroes are already. Idris, yeah, I, I was gonna yeah, say yeah. superheroes start showing up, but Idris Elba's character was pretty Black Superman, so don't really have anything saying what it is, but not yet. I mean, we just got the images today, so yeah, yeah I mean, he'll probably reveal. Yeah, it I'm sure. Nevertheless, it looks great. I, I yeah. can't wait. I mean, I can't wait for the first trailer. Hopefully, uh, sometime in the summer we get like a teaser. A teaser. Yeah. Yeah. Teaser. You, you got your teaser. It was the bat suit. Well, I mean, that's, no, that's, that's fine. all you get. Yeah, no, that's fine, but it's it's test footage. Remember the, the movie comes out June twenty. We want, want a teaser with a logo with a yeah yeah. The movie's yeah. it'll be less than a year by that time. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious to see like the actual logo. Right. Like I got we saw. I mean, from the chest, but like oh, yeah, when they the put it movie logo. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I didn't have a problem with it. A lot of people were freaking out that it looks bad. I don't know why. Whatever. I mean, who cares? Yeah, about I think I think they're still I mean, attached to the Ben Affleck Batman. You know, it's it's always probably it's always the the previous one that you're attached to until you actually see it in the movies, and then that becomes the not even the, yes, but also. Any of them before that too. Like people sure. still compare it to the Nolan one. To be Nolan honest, I it, you saying that I forgot, I actually forgot Ben Affleck's Batman even had a Batmobile. I like that. Oh, that, that, one, I was, that one. I was I literally badass. in my mind I was, was cool. like yeah. I completely forgot yeah. about it and it went straight back to Christopher Nolan's That's big old tank machine guns and but the eighty nine one had guns. Affleck's so. was like the perfect blend of like Nolan's tank with. The old school, you yeah. know, uh, it was kinda look like, at the Batmobile. Yeah, it was kind of like a modern, like what you would expect. It's like a, a giant game. RC yeah. <laughs> drag racer. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. That's cool uh, though. I liked it. Yeah. So, uh, any other any other comments, thoughts? Looking good. Movie? Looking good, Matt Reeves. I, We're in. Can't I, wait. I have yet yeah, to come across so something far. or heard some something that I'm like eh, yeah. with this with Batman so far. I mean, I can't imagine this. They just cast uh, those two twins and. We don't know what they're playing. Twins? I, think, I didn't see that. Um, they're the twins from... Do you know Teen Wolf? Uh, oh, the show? I don't know. No. Um, I forgot what else. They were in... <laughs> this show's my age. 
Uh, Zach and Cody? De- no, no Desperate, Desperate Housewives. Wives. They were uh, two of the twins. I don't know. People Somebody were thinking that... Kids on there or something? Yeah, they were younger. Um, people were thinking they're Tweedledee and Tweedledum from Matt, like Mad Hatter's realm. Because Mad Hatter's part of Long Halloween. Yeah. But, Which they're clearly doing. Oh, yeah. At, at least the that version of it. Uh, that's something. Just, just the amount, amount of stuff they... Yeah. Characters and stuff, yeah. it would make sense. But, um, huh. yeah, yeah so, so we are going to move on to Carl Urban's comments on Dread 2 and the possibility of that happening. Um, he said, listen, I would love to make it. I'm on the record saying that, I, uh, saying that a bunch of times. I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, I think that the guys that own the rights to Dread Rebellion, I think they're developing something called Mega City One, and it would just be great to see more Dread, whether it's with me or not. It doesn't matter. I'm a fan of Dread, and there's so many great stories there. I'd love to see them, and I have no doubt that someday someone will make it. It's just a matter of time. I don't know anything about Dread. I've never watched it. It's one of those movies that, for me, I've always wanted to watch, but just like never got around to it uh, i mean i love carl Ur- uh, carl urban but yeah. i don't know what you guys well he's been saying this for years I was just, a, yeah. just about to say that this uh, is turning into the crow dread turn dread came out in 2012 i want to say february and it, it, was, it was one of those like cult hits you know it didn't it didn't hit it, it, it didn't do well in theaters because well i mean it, it wasn't marketed very well you know, I didn't right. even watch it in theaters. I wish I did. Yeah. But once it came out on DVD, Blu-ray, and then, you know, you, you got to see just how much of a, a treasure this this film really is. Um, it's some a lot of people call it the American uh, version of Raid. The Raid. The Raid. It, it essentially which is. Which is one of the greatest action movies ever made. Um, yeah. But I, I do hope that they are able to do this Mega City 1. Mm-hmm. Um TV the show, series. the series, Which, yeah, um, yeah. I I think that'd be perfect on a streaming service. Um, you think about the Mandalorian and how that's a character who you don't see his face at all, except right. for you know, spoiler, one episode. But um, if you watched Dread with Carl Urban, and you'll know that Same he thing. was the perfect, right. um, p- perfect person to play Dread, and who knew, honestly. So. I mean, I've I've gone on countless podcasts, articles about wanting to see a Dread Two. I really hope it happens. It probably won't because it was it wasn't a box office success. Yeah, it it uh, cost uh, between thirty and forty five million and made box office forty one point five. Yeah, so it didn't so even, it, it lost money. Yeah, it lost money, and you were right. It did come out in two thousand twelve. You said right. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was February, right? It was a February. Uh, this date. is saying release date of July eleventh. Really, man. I so, don't... yeah. Um, really, July. Oh. I guess. I mean, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I. I like I said. I. I don't know anything about <coughs> Dread. Uh, you have to watch it. I. I want to. Like, watch I've never seen the whole thing, but, but, but it's. Awesome. Like I said, it's basically like I said, it's the raid. Mm-hmm. But you'd love it. You know, you yeah. really oh, I'm sure. It. I'm sure it's it. That's why I want to see because it, it looks like something I would watch. Yeah. And it was just like I just, I guess, never got around to seeing. It. Certainly, start like, read, pick up some comics. Yeah, it's, really, um, it's a cool story. And people seem to still really like that character yeah. and yeah, whatnot. Um, yeah, Lena uh, Hedy. Hed- yeah, Lena Hedy so, is so Mama. Seen, yep, Mama. Whatever. Mama. I don't uh, like. I don't know the characters. All the other. And then yeah. Olivia Thoroughby was Cassandra Anderson. Yeah. I don't know. What's his gun called? His gun is uh, his gun is called something. Uh, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it can do like all sorts but, of things. Yeah, it's yeah. But uh, like triple X again. Remember <laughs> when he has the bullets right. and yes, the purple, that's exactly the green, the what? <laughs> Yes. Dread, all he has to do is just say something and right. stun. You know. It said the weapon itself <coughs> is called the Dread, or Multiple Projectile Device System. Okay. Yep, he's the judge, jury, and executioner. Yeah. Yeah, that man. Is that his whole shtick? Is... There's a bunch of them. He's, uh, he's eight. Are they cops? But, uh, uh, yeah, so... they're 
they uphold the law, you right. know. So it, it, it's it's a police force, but they're all called dreads. They're all you know these badass police officers. Ju- oh, judges. judges, judges. My bad. Yeah, and then Judge Dread is the the main one, the, the number one. Yeah, he's the guy that's well known by everyone because he can he he just takes takes people criminals down just like that. Yeah. Hmm. Like he's, he's feared. The, he's the, the Batman of all in the underworld. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. So is Lena Headey's character the bad guy? Super crime boss lady of Got Mega it. City One. Mm-hmm. She's like the well, the Joker. She <laughs> she's, is. Yes. Yeah. yeah. She, she's the head honcho. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah, man. Oh no, I think you guys I'm, haven't seen Dread. I'm telling you, it's. I need to watch the whole thing, but yeah, I'd love to watch. It's years, yeah, I should watch it again. I probably got buried. This is 2012. I, mean, I got buried with Avengers. Oh, it's Dark Knight. Yeah. Re- uh, Rises, mm-hmm. Spider Man. Sure. So it got buried. If it came out in July of 2012, nobody would have seen it. And yeah. So uh, directed by Alex Garland. Alex Garland, yeah. Ex Machina yeah. uh-huh. and Annihilation. Right. I hated Annihilation. And he's behind the. Uh, well, he's behind this whole movement for Dread 2. Right. The problem is the studio just doesn't want to make another movie. Which, fine. Make it a TV series, though. I think it would be mm-hmm. as The Boys, which oh. I, I haven't watched. But it could be... It'll be you that. haven't watched it yet? I still haven't watched it yet. I haven't seen it either. So. Yeah. yeah. I will. But it'll be that. <laughs> like You both will absolutely love it. I know. Absolutely Love it. Jacob is like he just obsessed it. with it. Yeah, I know. Yes, like, yeah. yeah, he loves it. Yeah, no, and as he should because that it's I'm itching waiting for yeah. the second. Yeah, there's a place for uh, this uh, Mega City One in, in the right. streaming service. Absolutely. It just it won't happen right away, but you're gonna see um, all these other comic book adaptations uh, work on streaming service. You know, uh, you got the obviously Disney Plus with the the Falcon Winter Soldier and WandaVision and then you got HBO Max's Green Lantern if that takes off as well you're Where would see... you put Dread though? Um, Amazon. Yeah, he's doing I know he's doing I definitely wouldn't put it on Boys. Disney Plus. Um, I yeah, think yeah. I think Hulu would need an answer uh, cuz HBO Max well, Hulu is Disney. Okay, never mind. Not Hulu. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, I probably say HBO Max. That's I mean, I don't from what I'm looking at it seems like HBO. It would be like an HBO Max. Right. Maybe. Amazon doesn't seem to care. I mean, if yeah, you they watch have the boys. They, they don't have, care about. It'll be that. Yeah. The, or the, Netflix. I, I mean, or, yeah. yeah, Netflix. I I definitely think should do it. I think Amazon's all set with the boys, and then they got the Lord of the Rings, yeah. which is going to cost millions to to make. I think better hope it is good. Amazon. Well, Amazon's fine. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, yeah, I I. From just looking at it, I it seems like it would be more of an HBO, uh, distributed by Lionsgate. So I mean, not a huge cast, out east of names. Maybe that could have hurt it too. Well, no, Dread is uh, the the movie is is a very very confined setting. Right. Like a a few scenes take place. Like the raid. It's just all this one yeah, building. Uh, outside, <laughs> yeah, I see that. I have no idea what yeah, that is. Yeah. It's actually pretty brilliant how they adapted it. Right. Um, Check it out. Yeah. So do you think that if it was released now, it would be... If it were released like like, like now, this year, um, I in think... This, I, in I, this I, superhero era-ish? I think if, if it was a July make, I think that was definitely a big mistake on the, yeah. on the studio's part. It A movie like that, R-rated, should be a January, February release date, you yeah. know? Like a John Wick, like a Bad right. Boys Three, you know, or maybe um, maybe an October ish kind of thing. Maybe October, yeah. yeah but but yeah. it's just unfortunate that it never really got the attention and the success that it it deserved. You know, you hear about these movies that are so good, but at the time that they came out, either nobody watched it or it was critically panned. So. This one critics liked everyone and people. Oh, yeah. people that saw it loved it. Yeah, it? just didn't. How was it? Do we even have ratings for it back then? I'm pretty sure. Uh, I have ratings for everything now. Um, yeah, uh, but oh well, yeah, I mean ratings. It's looking four and a half out of five stars. Right. Ron uh, Tomatoes gave it a seventy nine. Seventy nine. Yeah, I was about to say yeah. So I mean, yeah. it's considered fresh. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. 
But uh, yeah, I, I again, one of those for me, one of those ones I just never got around to. But I mean, it seems like people wouldn't mind. Yeah, especially if he one. comes back as well, Carl Urban. Well, he, he, he's he been so into it. Like you said, he's been talking about, it, about this for so years. So he was good as Dredd? Oh, yeah. oh he was oh, great. Okay. Yes, great. absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, I, and, of course, you you know there's the Sylvester Stallone one from about yes. 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> Is it connected to it? It's not, no, 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 no. Okay. no, no. But it's – I would recommend that as well just in terms of uh, – uh, Stallone really not dedicates himself to the role. He yeah, definitely he does. Just... First of all, he takes his helmet off, which is just like well, I mean, it's it's, it, it, it's for dread. Yeah, he he's not known for. I mean, you don't take off your helmet for for all the criminals to see, right. you know. <laughs> people know. But the story the story warranted it, you know. Um, yes, I know. It's it's Stallone, so he wants people to see him. Right, so, um, but <laughs> it's it's ninety Stallone. In the ninety Stallone, you know, yes. like Ego. coming off a of demolition man, you know, yeah. He, He's, Which is fun, but this one—it's you know this one's not—it's not the—it's not very good. It's not terrible. It's got a few good things in it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's super over the top, you know, version of Dread. It co-stars Rob Schneider. Rob Schneider and, right. and an action this movie. One? No, the no, no, Stallone one. Nine, oh, nine, I was five. gonna say. Yeah. I was gonna say. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's, now you've gotten it lost. No. no. It's for the sake of you can get around to that one. But the 2012, the Carl Urban one, yes, absolutely. Hmm, interesting. Um, way well, better version. I will so. definitely have to check that out. Maybe but that, yeah. but it was also part of it, too, is that people were thinking that it's like the Stallone version, which was a little, it's right. 90s superhero Ridiculous campy kind of, yeah, it was, mm-hmm. so people probably just, well, it's the same as that, and it didn't. That's fair. Right. It'd be like trying to do a Mr. Freeze movie, um, except the last Mr. Freeze we got was Arnold right. Schwarzenegger and his like ice puns. <laughs> I know. It's ice cold. to meet you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love that. That's such a guilty pleasure movie of mine. Uh, but yeah, our next topic uh, is the rumor that picked up legs like no other and probably shouldn't have even gotten past whatever website it originated no. from. But uh, Henry Cavill being rumored to play Wolverine, there is... Zero confirmation. Not e- I don't even think Henry Cavill it was like... I, I don't even think he had time to address the rumor. It They're not that. even consider. Yeah. It, it's, it doesn't seem... Uh, there was really no... Nothing that gave it legs <clears throat> to stand on. Um, but again, it was just that Henry Cavill was in talks to play Wolverine. And uh, yeah, I... I, I, it's funny because I feel like anytime there's like a big superhero, we throw out his name. That oh, he's gonna play it. He was gonna be Captain Britain. Oh no, he's gonna be Wolverine. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh no, he's gonna be this. But um, I know I I'm I'm indifferent with it. Like I I don't know if I would be able to deal with him just knowing who he is as Wolverine, and he's not short. Like, I mean, that, that seemed to be the, like, the fire that lit people up was, like, he is not comically accurate to Wolverine. He's, he's six foot and blah, blah, blah. Wolverine's five foot two, blah, blah, whatever. And, yeah, um, I, I'm indifferent on it. How are we feeling? I mean, it's. I mean, we're addressing something that's This not is just <laughs> wishful <laughs> thinking, like, uh, it's. It's a cool fan casting, but one, not Warner Brothers. Well, Warner Brothers. We'll get to that in a little bit. But right now, the MCU is still trying to figure out where they exactly want X Men. Yeah. You know, I'm sure they have an idea, but certain movies need to work. You know, like the Eternals. You know, that could very well introduce mm-hmm. um, the. The whole mutants um, existing in, in the MCU and whatnot. Um, so I'm pretty sure Kevin Feige has an idea of how he wants to introduce and when he wants to introduce the X Men. But right now, they're not, why would they be talking to Henry Cavill right now for for Wolverine? You know, it's just I think it's I think it's too soon. Um, I I think um, if you're gonna if Marvel's gonna re- reintroduce the X Men, they need to reintroduce the X Men. 
yeah. and not just start off with Wolverine one. and then one. go <laughs> yeah. uh, from here. And plus, I'm also <clears throat> a, a bit defensive because I still want to see him. He's your Superman. I still want to see him as and Superman. And he still wants to... Sounds like yeah. he still wants to be Superman. He genuinely loves I it. I honestly think he's going to be... He's a great Superman. I yes. think, I think he's going to be in the Black Adam movie. I really think so. I, I can see it. Ever since, that, see it. ever since that social media post that Dwayne Johnson of him and Henry Cavill sitting at a table enjoying... They're not just talk. They're, they're not just talking about whatever. They're legit trying to do some things in the DC universe. Yeah. So uh, I believe it. I, I mean, <laughs> uh, before I go to Keith, what, what are your thoughts towards this? Everything you just said. <laughs> yes, agree. Uh, it's it's not even. It's weird how it just somebody just said a thing and all of a sudden it just turns into. Everyone was reporting it. Now, if, if it was confirmed if, tomorrow that Henry Cavill is Wolverine, I've, I'd obviously be excited about oh, it. I'd be I mean, cool, I'm a fan yeah. of right, right. Henry Cavill, but I think this is just wishful thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's internet wildfire just spreading. It's fascinating how this happens uh, it, every year. It something. lit up. Yeah. Pro- that was probably one of the most like quick-catching rumors <laughs> that I've seen recently for casting. He so himself is probably like, look at his phone, like, what? Yeah, like, some people are calling you. Well, congratulations! Yeah. He's like, uh, what? Yeah, um, it's very bizarre. I, like I said, I, I don't, I don't know how I would feel yes or no to it. I'm just kind of like whatever. Um, I don't think the, I think the mutants are going to be sprinkled in, and I think that's how we're gonna. If I had to guess, that's how I think we're going to meet. The They're not going straight to Wolverine. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. It, no, if anything, we'll see one of the two. We'll see Charles Xavier or um, Magneto. Like, you guess, I would personally start with one of those two. And like you said, work it, work it, work it into the story. Yeah. Like you said years ago, he or when this happened, he had an idea for it already about how to do it. But like you said, you want to see what direction some of their upcoming projects go well, in. Well, and the fact that I think the thing that really made me go like, this is BS, was the fact that he was going to be it in Captain Marvel 2. So far, I've heard probably every single character say, they're going to show up in Captain Marvel right. 2. Nice. First off, they, don't even, they haven't even announced Captain Marvel 2 yet. <laughs> Second, like, not everyone's going to be in Captain Marvel 2. And if they did, this is taking away too much from her. From her. They, exactly. She needs to cement that people love her like i mean she's dig- she's got her decent fan base but she yeah. definitely has her haters essentially but they're not going to drop wolverine in a in captain Jack. marvel movie exactly uh, that if it that just didn't make that was the thing that i once i saw henry cavill might be wolverine i was like oh okay and then it was like in captain marvel 2 and i was like okay that's crap why yeah exactly. that, that's, that's not there's no way why? uh but i think I think, and I don't know if you guys think, I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing, like, mutant characters sprinkle into these movies, and then someone's going to come in, like, Charles or Magneto, and then, boom, there's your X-Men movie. Like, maybe they're, they're starting to become more known or something, and, but I totally agree. I think it would be stupid of them to just go... Wolverine, right. Henry Cavill, <laughs> there you go. Now they're the mutants. It doesn't make sense to me. And I personally, I'm with you, Gio. I love him as Superman. I don't want yeah. to see him really. At this point right now, would I love him in the Marvel movies? Sure. I would rather see more of him in as Superman still. I don't even understand why we're having problems with... <laughs> The character I understand, but why would they have any issues with him as Superman? Uh, <laughs> why, why are they? Even, why is there even any? If they want to kind of delay it a little bit, figure out what which direction they want to go with the character. It's been seven years. Fine. since Man of Steel, uh, just, so, which is incredible because that movie was not bad. He is not. At all. I don't. People, people. I don't even. Want, I love Man of Steel. We, I think we all three. We, people are r- ridiculous about that, but. It, People are way over dramatic about how bad they think it is. You know, uh, it's fine if you don't like it. I can kind of understand some a lot of the criticisms of it, but 
it's a good movie. It's a good story. Oh, I love it. I don't. I don't care. It's, I don't, I don't, yeah, that's what I, I, I don't even want to. I don't even want to. I know. Get into touching it. It's, a it's open annoying. Wound. But um, uh, yeah, he, I don't even see why there's an issue with him. Him, uh, Henry Cavill as no. Superman at all. I just, I really don't. And I'm talking about. I'm talking to Warner Brothers. <laughs> like, why is this even? Absolutely. What are you doing? He's fine. <laughs> He's great. He looks like Superman. He's got the. He he loves it. Like what is. The personality of it, very, he's right. very, Just, I love how he, like, is a very, like, calm yeah. Superman and stuff, but yeah. then, like, when he gets pissed, it's, sure. like. Sure, and there's some of that with perfect. him, and it's, like I said, Superman can be a tough, you know, I can, I can understand why it could be tough to figure out what to do with him, but uh, this ain't a Ben Affleck situation where he's having any problems with it. He, he loves it. He's into it. Let's go. Let's get onto it. You know, and he, yeah. I'm sure he'd be a fine Wolverine. I, I hate when fans get all into the. He's not comic accurate. To, shut up. No one's comic accurate. Like, yeah. if watch comic book movies. Nobody's nothing exactly the way you saw it when you were a kid. Like, forget it's, about that. It seems the the thing that we keep hearing the most with people with Wolverine is the height. Yeah, the height like, is dude, what you want to get. People are freaking out over. He, uh, it. What's his name? Um, Taron Egerton? No, Game of Thrones. Uh, um, oh, uh, Peter uh, Dinklage? Dinklage. We're going to have his Wolverine. Yeah, uh, which actually wouldn't be terrible. But, uh, I don't know how serious people came out. It's true. Like, <laughs> but, <coughs> excuse me, but uh, yeah, look, Wolverine's going to be, a movie Wolverine's going to be a little tall. All right, just deal with it, guys. It's not a big deal. Like, we all love Hugh Jackman now. He's like 6'2", yeah. you know, and he's a giant. Like, everyone... He's too tall to be whatever. He's great. He's like one of the best comic book character actor portrayal we've ever gotten. Taron so. Egerton's still my choice. But, if I had anyone, yeah, that'd be pretty good. That's a good one. Yeah. Do you think there's any chance that this could actually happen? No, though? no, zero chance. No, zero. zero. Not at all. Zero. Not even a a thought. I'm sure it's a thought, but I mean, I mean, yeah. Some executive at Warner Bros. is looking at, not Warner Bros., um, Marvel. Marvel's looking at it like, not Feige, but somebody in there is looking, going, hmm. Like, I'm sure it's been, someone just looked at his picture, I don't know, what do you guys think? But it, it no. <laughs> no, I expect him to um, be announced in Black Adam, which starts shooting this summer. It's right around the corner. I, I would be surprised, and I would not be against it either. It's next year, right? Isn't mm-hmm. it next year? Yep. Yeah. So... Who knows? I mean, plus he's got The Witcher and all this stuff. Yeah, that's right. It's, I feel like throwing an MCU movie on, and oh, Andrew going to be Wolverine. He, like, listen, like, he'd do it. He's a sweaty. So oh, he's sure. full on. He's he's one of us. So he, oh, he would, sure. I'm sure if he had the time, he, he'd definitely do it. But yeah. you know. Anything else we want to add? We've talked about this for too long. Too yeah. long? Agree. Well, that was our last topic, unless we got anything else you wanted to add in there. You look like you had one thing. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Well, I mean, okay, you guys are tired of hearing about this, but I think um, there was news that uh, Flashpoint would have Aquaman and uh, Wonder Woman in okay. that movie. Oh, really? And as you guys know, Flashpoint um, I mean, yeah. could literally change the whole DC universe. I think it needs to. Right. Which brings me to my next point. Oh, God. If you... I think this confirms that the Snyder Cut no. is coming. No. What do they have to lose? No. If Flashpoint is coming and you're going to reset the universe anyway, why not see what you got in certain characters? What do they have to get them, though? Yeah. That's my, that's my question. There's no reason. I think that they can. I think Flashpoint is literally going to be the reset button. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah definitely will. But So as a, as a studio head, would you, would you not just... I mean, you have 600,000 people tweeting about the release of Snyder Cut. Clear following behind it. All about this. I think that they could put three, four million dollars. Theatrical into this release. Whole thing. For this Maybe not theatrical. Put it on HBO Max. Yeah. When does it, when does HBO Max even come out? Is that next summer. year? This summer? Yeah. Well, it was, yeah, that was this year. Uh, look, that that's just look. What do you got to lose? You, your Flashpoint's coming anyway. Is Flashpoint next year. Twenty twenty two, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we got some time. Yeah. I I mean. May. Why not? May. May twenty twenty. So wow, very quickly. Uh. Well, the Wonder Woman, Aquaman thing, that's, I mean, both their factions, are, their people are warring, at least in the comic and version of the story, and in the uh, animated yeah. uh, movie, so, mm-hmm. uh, boy, that'll be interesting. And they're your two best that. characters in the in the DCU after Henry Cavill, Superman. Currently. You know, uh, but it's just, yeah. 
you know, that makes sense. So I, I don't know. I, I think that this all but confirms that, you know, that, that cut is coming, you know. Um, but that's just me. I could be just, you know, reading into things. But if I'm a studio, what do you got to lose? Seriously. If, if it, it, it can't be any worse than the theatrical cut of what we got. It's probably a true version and true backstory for certain characters that we were robbed of. And I think if Warner Bros. is going to reset this universe, based off that cut, you can see, okay, does this really work or does this not really work? Does Ray Fisher as Cyborg really work? Well, wait, there's a whole backstory <coughs> in the Snyder Cut that was cut of you know Ray, of Ray Fisher's Victor Stone. Um, do we really want to move forward with a uh, I mean they're, they're doing a Flash Miller like so Ezra Miller's Flash is in the good graces of Warner Brothers you know so is there a black suit Superman and that could all of a sudden Maybe jump start jump start you know Man of Steel 2 there are a lot of things that this cut can give us if it's a if it is in fact a better film who knows I don't know. I don't know at this point. I'm just like, I'm just kind of at this point where I'm like, if you release it, I'll watch it. That, I think they just want to cut their, just cut their losses from it and just move on. Like, cause that's, that's what I think the whole point of Flashpoint is. It's just, <clears throat> uh, like if they're going to make a jumping off point for a new Man of Steel, I mean, well, that's, you would just do that with Flashpoint or a new verse, a new Superman film. Um, and just start it all over. Uh, you know, I, I think that also they don't want to set a precedent because it, it was set a, I think, a bad precedent for every time a version of uh, every time a movie comes out that people is if people are split or people are maybe mostly kind of disliked. Well, let's see the other version that like it just doesn't. It, it can't. We can't get people fans calling for alternate versions of every movie well, I mean, that they don't like. That, that I mean, that, that's. Like, is this, that's a bigger conversation into studio meddling and being robbed of maybe a, 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 a an even better film. You think about Rise of Skywalker, you know, well, and see, all that. That's, see, and then there's people talking about another an alternate version of that. That it's like just what is it saying? We get the past. Yeah. What was that from? I get it, but uh, I don't know. I I I just can't do it. Because Kylo Ren. I, no. I, oh yeah. I don't know about you guys. I just I can't. Every time I see Justice League on HBO and like the fact that it's there, hey, and people are, could actually watch that, I'm just uh, like, listen, that's what they did. They got to deal you, with it. If you want to give me the flashback scene in a full movie, I'll yeah. watch that any day, all day long. The uh, with the big old battle. Yep, that'd be cool. Just, just that. Yeah, I bet you there's more. Just that, that war. Yeah. Just that war. That whole thing. I want a that whole movie of that. Be Five hundred million dollars. I don't think it's <laughs> got Zeus and lightning and yeah. I'm not saying that you know th this cut would 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 not cost uh, Warner Brothers a, a penny. It, it would, but they got to think that you know they can make some of their money back via streaming service. So you never know. You never know. But uh, that is gonna do it for us today on Nerd Nation. Uh, we talked a little bit of. Uh, uh, Henry Cavill as Wolverine, the Batmobile, and Carl Urban's comments on a Dread 2 and the possibilities of that. Uh, I'd like to thank Keith and Gio for joining me today thank you. on Nerd Nation. Absolutely. Uh, and yeah, check out all of our uh, streaming platforms we have for Apocalypse movies. Anchor, Apple, Spotify. I'm trying to think of uh, what uh, any other ones I'm missing. There's so many now. Just everything, Google everything. Podcasts, YouTube, yeah. uh, anything YouTube, and everything Absolutely. for streaming. Uh, and share and our, it. Yes, obviously share, like, uh, subscribe, hit that little bell button to get notifications. And so for Apocalypse Movies, I am Brian, that is Keith, that is Gio. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you guys next time.